Hello and welcome to my channel. This is part two of the repair of the C64 mainboard with garbage on screen, or is more uh, an update than the second part. If you haven't seen part one, I highly recommend you to watch this one first. The link is in the description down below. After the release of the first video, I get some comments from my viewers. And one comment brings the result. So thanks to my viewers. And so let's get into it and I will show what happens and what I found. So let's start it. So at the end of uh, part one, we have this result. We have no change uh, to the beginning from this repair. We desoldered the calculator and uh, put the socket in and tested the character ROM in my C64G. There's the same mainboard in like this on the bench and we found out that the character ROM is working fine. So the next step and the thing I don't thought about is the VIC chip. The command on the uh, under the video from part one is uh, hey have you checked the big chip and i say oh no i don't thought about it and so put the wig on this board out put the wig in the c64g in and then let's see Now I take my wristband. No. The big chip from here is out. Let's put this board on the side and grab this C64G. Put here the VIC chip also out. Put this in here and from the other board is here. And now let's put this in. And let's see what it does. And you see we have arrows on this. Well, let's put this out from here. Put this on the side. Grab the other main board and put the wick from the C64G in here. Oh. We'll connect to the TV and it's working. It's working good. We have a great uh, quality of the image. And so you see the 
problem was the weak, weak chip, we have a bad weak chip. And the rest of the board is working properly. So I would say fixed. We have a working C64 mainboard. And so the only thing I have to do is uh, buy a new VIC2 chip. So this fully working board goes in my spare parts. And then we will see. But at the end, we put this big chip in the other main board. And at the end, let's test this board if this works. Oh, no power, no picture. And you see, it's working. So, and all we have to do at the very last is to put an X on it. So, done. So, this is for this episode. Uh, another C64 mainboard is fixed and saved for using in the future. In this case, the fault was the video chip, the VIC-2. This is the first broken VIC chip in my repairs. And so it's at this time a little bit unusual for me. And a big thanks goes out to my viewers. You bring me the idea to check this. And so if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want more of my videos, click on the subscribe button next to the like button. And you can also support my channel on Patreon. The link is also in the description down below. And like always, I see you next time.